Welcome to another ALK Extreme Adventure review. Have you ever been frustrated that much that you've bought a tent, uh, you've been working all day, it's Friday, you've got two days off and all you want to do is get this new tent, pitch it, but you have two problems. One, it's dark by the time you get to your location and two, you've never pitched a tent before so you don't know exactly how to put it up and in the dark it can be frustrating. Well, as you've seen in my last couple of reviews, I've got a few different tents. And yes, I do work Monday to Friday and I work quite late sometimes. So by the time I get to my locations, usually three, four, five hours away, it's pitch black, a little torch in my head sometimes it doesn't cut it. And all I'm trying to do is pitch a tent, set up camp, build a fire and relax. A couple of hours down the track, I finally do it, but sometimes I make a mistake. I have a new tent just received by Coleman and I have to say it actually isn't that bad. The other thing is it actually takes me three minutes to pitch. Now this is what I'm going to show you review today. This is the new Coleman tent uh, available at Anaconda and uh, I think it's called Darkness. Give me one second. It's actually called Coleman Darkroom, four person tent. Now let's set it up. This is another ALK Extreme tent review. <coughs> Alright, so this is the Coleman Dark Room four person tent. It's a non rip tent. Now keep in mind, all tents can rip, but I'll give you a bit of a rundown what non rip means uh, later on in this video. Um, it says it takes up to two minutes to pitch. Took me three minutes because I never knew what I was doing to start off with and we have pitched this up a few weeks ago um, and I'll tell you what I'm actually quite impressed hence why I'm doing the video and the review on this product. Before I go any further this is not a paid review I, I pay for my tents um, so free feel free to leave comments below where you can buy this tent but the only one I know that you can buy this tent from is actually Anaconda so if you're in Australia, check out Anaconda. If you're in Victoria, go see the guys at uh, Anaconda's Hoppers Crossing and they will definitely uh, look after you. Say Alec sent you. So let's pitch this tent. So what comes in the bag? Let's have a look. By the way, it's not a trekking tent. Good to put in the back of the car and off you go. So obviously you've got your poles. You got your weather fly and you've got your tent. Bag, pegs, guard ropes. Everything you need. Strong enough bag. Obviously, you don't really need instructions when it comes to this tent, but it does come with uh, instructions just in case. Okay? Let me just put this away and pitch this tent up. Now, let me just jump on my phone so I can show you exactly what time it is. It is now, we'll set the time, set the timer for you. How's that sound? Okay. Not sure if you can see that, but it is at zero. And we are going to pitch the tent. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the clock now. And as anyone knows, I'm very honest. And I'll show you exactly how long it took to pitch the tent. So we'll start the clock now. It's gone. Let's do this.
That's it. Your tent is pitched. This fly here, the inner of the tent, is exactly the same as the fly sheet on the outside. Same material, same thickness, same rip, uh, rip tear stop or stop rip <laughs> um, technology. Fly inside already for the front doors. You also got screens on the side that has flies that you can zip up as well. And that took me, if you can see that, just over a minute. Now it's true. This thing does take two minutes to set up. Once you get the fly on, put the poles up, you're set to go. So probably another minute or so. Now the fly itself is very, very easy. All you do is throw it over the top, okay? Peg it down on the sides here. Well, strap, it's got Velcro straps on both, all four sides. Also, you've got Velcro straps on the sides here. Velcro to the uh, poles. That's it. Add two more poles. The awning comes out. That's it. And tie your guide ropes down. I would say maximum, a full pitch will take about three to four minutes. And if the weather's really, really bad, that's what you need. Keep in mind, you don't need the fly. The tent itself is waterproof. That's it. There is nothing else to do. All you do now is jump in and enjoy your camping experience. Now, it is a four person tent. I'm six foot two and I can stand straight in this tent here. You have a lot of ropes in here or hooks, I should say, that will actually help you if you want to put some lights. You've got actually the entrance to the light cable in there. But everything in this tent is ready to go. And let me show you. Okay, as you can see, you've got your fly, okay, and you've got your fly. <laughs> Zippers on each side, very easy, okay, so you don't need to worry about anything, okay. That's on all four, all three corners, okay. Obviously, you've got your opening, and again, you've got your hooks for lights all through the tent, okay. So you would not need to worry about anything. And of course, you have down the bottom, the entrance, the zip where you can actually connect the uh, LED lights if you've got power outside, okay. You've got enough pockets here to hold all your phones, wallets, whatever it may be. So, in saying that, this tent is actually quite quite large. Four person, of course, waterproof uh, inner. So again, you don't need the fly. Um, and if you're doing it very, very late at night, you can do the fly in the morning as long as you've got uh, a shelter over your head for the, for the night. Uh, waterproof floor. And it is a bucket floor, okay? So you're gonna be always safe in that case. Um, what else do we have here? Let's have a look at what else. Give me one second, let's have a look around. Okay, now as I was saying, the poles. Now these is where the hooks come down. You up here. This is where you bend the hooks, just like that. Okay, and also coming down here. So, You've got your hooks, comes all the way through here, all plastic hooks of course, and straight there. Now this is where you need to make sure the pins click into, okay, and that also you press it and obviously the tent will fall. Just push back up, just like that. You've got your fly, it actually is a good looking tent, we've only used it once, but I can't wait to use it again. And it's got that sort of what, I guess, an umbrella. sort of uh, connections. Now, I do have to be honest about this tent, okay? And let me just uh, set this down for a second so I can talk to you. Okay, so basically that is the tent, uh, common dark room, 
made by Coleman of course. Quick review. Now it took me just over a minute to set up as freestanding as it is. Obviously you put your pegs in just to keep a suit if it's going to be a windy night but I guess you, if there's more than one person laying in it you'd be fine. There is one drawback with this tent. Okay, when I do my reviews I'm very very honest. When you put the fly up you have a canopy that goes over the top with the two poles and your guide ropes coming down. There is a flaw with that, uh, with that mechanism and I'll tell you why. Once this tent is fully pitched, you have your fly, you have the guide ropes, everything's ready to go. We have the canopy over the top. Now it isn't a large canopy, I'd say it's about four foot. If it rains, you're effed. Okay, why? It acts like a bucket. The canopy actually acts like a bucket. So if you have your two standing poles with the canopy over the top, you'll find, I'll, I'll, I'll add a picture just up to, where would I put the picture? Probably just here. Okay, fully set up. If it rains, the, it doesn't run off anywhere. It becomes a bucket and it becomes quite heavy. So it means that your guide ropes are going to be pulling harder and there's a lot more tension on the actual tent itself. It is a bit of a flaw. Why? Is because you can't actually tighten those guide ropes anymore. You can't do anything with the poles. They're not adjustable. It's pole after pole. They just link into each other. Um, it's a bit of a stuff up to be totally honest with you. A design flaw. They should have something with extra guide ropes and the full poles on the outside and then you can tighten it so it's stiff so the water can run off or the canopy can be coming down on an edge on an angle. Other than that I have to say I'm really impressed. I'm really, really impressed with this tent. Now, they do go on special. I pay $2.99 for this. Retail, I think it was $4.35. Anaconda will always look after you guys. See the guys at Hoppers or any Anaconda that you go to in Australia, and I'm sure they will look after you. So, I would give this a four out of five stars. And the only star is because of that canopy. Setting up, no time at all. Preparing everything, no time at all. Three minutes, four minutes max, and you are set. Which is a great tent, guys. So, that's another ALK Extreme tent review. Please subscribe, press that like button if you like the video, and also share my videos to help grow my channel. Now, I just wanted to do a bit of a, a recap on some of the other tents that I've done over the last 12 months. I've had mind-blowing reviews um, views sorry uh, some of my tents that uh, I've got over 30 likes now again I'm only been on YouTube for about 12 months and again I buy these things okay I'm gonna show you a lot more other reviews that I've got for climbing gear uh, from La Sportiva but I just wanted to give a, a, bit, a bit of a shout out to a couple of the the, uh, the comments made on my channel I buy these tents okay I actually go out to the hardest elements that Australia can throw at throw at me um, and every highest mountain it's possible to go in Australia I have a few comments on my channel which I do appreciate and I really negative or positive I do appreciate these feedbacks because it makes me grow my channel a little bit better but in saying that my tent have been through the worst climb that's possible that Australia can throw at it okay um, so please before you make that comments know that I actually review these tents and I test them before I even pitch them the first time okay so in saying that thank you very much please subscribe and thumbs up take care A-OK -OK Extreme checking it out